morning YouTube. I'm Chucky2009 and I impulse bought a dump truck. So to make a long story short, a few months ago I decided that I was going to go out and build my very own dump trailer and uh, I figured I might as well start sourcing some components for that and it didn't take me long to figure out that hydraulic components are actually quite expensive and for the cost of a proper ram or two and on uh, some other odds and ends and, and an axle and whatnot and, and building my own bed just in materials alone adding those together was a lot more than the cost of buying my choice of non-running beater dump trucks off the old local craigslist as with pretty much any texas vehicle there's pretty much no rust on this even though it's fairly old this is a 1984 model and it looks like this so anyway yeah the guy told me he bought this for his business he hauled some gravel with it and uh and used it to haul stuff to the dump and and then just parked it and now they need it gone and he needs the money for other things and uh so he was trying to sell it oh man it's even hotter in here than i thought it would be that's how this thing came up on the market i bought it for two grand a little over that figuring the cost of getting it out here this thing has in it the 370 two valve v8 it's a gas engine carbureted which i don't really like but on the other hand he said it was having carburetor problems and that's why it wouldn't start so as much as i hate carburetors that might have actually got me a pretty good deal on this but it looks to be all there there's minimal signs of hackery on this mainly just uh looks like someone replaced this coil and i don't know what the deal is with all these wires here but i actually haven't even tried to start it yet so yeah we got the 370 motor we got to go in through uh this side of the cab right now because the problem with the locks on the doors of this truck is this one doesn't lock and as i found out yesterday the one on the other side it doesn't unlock once you do lock it so i'm gonna have to uh climb in here and open that which is easier said than done because the door handle on the other side is broken off i'm not really sure how that is really even doable but i guess someone has a story there and uh yeah oh that's a hot seat anyway up in this thing of course manual transmission with the uh high beam switch on the floor there it's a five speed with a two speed rear end i left it in gear um yeah, it's just your basic 1980s Ford truck setup. This thing has really low miles. It only has 72,000 miles on it, which I think is great. And, uh, and it, this was a state-owned truck, too. This thing was owned by some county somewhere in Texas. And um, I think it was in Texas. It, it was a county-owned vehicle either way. And I've learned that government-owned vehicles are pretty sweet if you can get a deal on one because, you know, you guys are familiar with my green shop truck. I bought that thing from the state of Texas and it had like meticulous maintenance and it was really well kept up and everything. So this should have that plus a third to miles that my shop truck has. One of the problems with this is the, the folks I bought it from are honestly a little hard to deal with. And one example of that is that this thing came full of trash not like disgusting stuff or anything it was pretty much all building materials and like a rug out of someone's house and some other junk pretty much and uh even after filling up all of my trash cans twice we still have this much stuff to get rid of but looking at this the uh the body of this actually seems really solid um yeah a little bit of surface rust but nothing really that i would consider alarming um i don't know who did this but it's honestly pretty well done i mean looking at these hinges Whoever put these together had a pretty good idea what they were doing. This is half inch plate, torch cut. The torch cuts are really square, welded. I'd give these welds like a solid B minus. Really not bad and it seems very sturdy. These are nice hinges. Whoever did this even knew enough to use a little washer in between the upper and lower assemblies of the hinge, which is a great sign. Uh, someone really tried hard on this and they built, they did a quite nice job of converting this to a swing open tailgate. No hitch on it. I might build it a pintle hitch at some point. Hi, Mr. Dog. And uh, one of the tail lights doesn't work. It's got a bunch of little, it really just seems like it needs a bunch of TLC. You know, we got these things that look like air brakes, but I understand they're somehow hydraulic. I'm not really an expert on that system yet, and I'm not looking forward to learning about it. We've got a monstrous Spicer rear end under this thing, and uh, uh, springs just friggin everywhere spring packs of doom on this thing and the other thing it has which is kind of cool is uh it's got helper springs as well it's so, like when these springs get loaded down this comes up and engages on this 
and gives you even more suspension travel. Locking rim style of wheels on it, which you don't see too much of. And uh, a lot of people have told me it's gonna be a pain finding someone to change tires on this, which is another reason I wanna find some of those 22 and a half inch rims. But yeah, you know, it seems really solid. It's, uh, like I said, there really doesn't seem to actually be anything wrong with this, other than uh, it just needing some TLC and a carburetor rebuild and a tail light and, you know, just a few little odds and ends like that. It's under CDL weight, which I like. It's uh, GVW is 24,500 pounds. So I can drive it without a CDL, which is great, even though I want to get my CDL anyway. Looked at the gas tank. It's um, clean. You know, I opened this up and looked down in there with a flashlight. There's no rust on the inside of it or anything. This is one of the many perks of living, especially in Texas, but also in most of the South. I mean, a truck this rust-free would be like two or three years old where I'm from. <laughs> and this thing's like 30-ish. So... Yeah, it's, uh, it seems to be all here and solid. Dog, I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. Yeah, and I looked at the fluids. It doesn't seem to be leaking anything. It's got uh, plenty of coolant in it. The coolant looks fine. I pulled the oil dipstick. Nice and black, no signs of water, coolant, anything mixing in there. Uh, the transmission goes into all of its gears. It feels really tight. The brakes even have a nice feel to them. You give it a couple pumps and they, uh, they build pressure. A little irritated that I can't get this door to unlock and that I have to take it apart and replace the door handle but you know uh, that's what I get for locking myself out and being an idiot anyway I guess this about winds us down and hopefully in the next uh, several days here I will be able to find some time to work on this thing and try to get it running however to be brutally honest this is pretty far down my list of priorities and I have about a million other things that I need to be working on instead so, you know, it might not happen for a little while, but I'm gonna do what I can and uh, hopefully get this thing cranking in the near future. So I'm really excited about this little endeavor and uh, yeah, it's just a random little vlog to show y'all what I will soon be working on and I, uh, I like it. Definitely can't complain. 1984 Ford F700, everybody.